You first want to grab three packages of these five gallon paint stir sticks. I get mine from Home Depot, but any hardware store will do. You want to have a total of nine of these paint stir sticks. So I'm just holding them together using some one gallon paint stir sticks and also some craft sticks or popsicle sticks. I'm using my famous Dollar Tree adhesive glue with a mixture of hot glue and just holding Hold that all together until that glue is adhered. Ignore that brown paint stir sticks. I'm going to go over it anyways with some folk art chalk paint in the color Java. You could find this chalk paint from Michaels or you could order it online at michaels.com. I'm just giving these paint sticks one coat of this color and then just allow that to completely dry. And once that first coat is completely dry, now I'll be using Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Plaster. I'm putting a very small amount of the paint on a chippy brush, and I'm just doing a dry brush method. So this just consists of putting a very small amount, again, of the chalk paint on your paintbrush, and then just going over the board with some light brush strokes. Allow that to completely dry and now you're left with this weathered wood look. And then I got this Christmas gift bag from Dollar Tree last year. I just cut that out and along the edges I just ripped it down to size rather than having the scissor straight edge. I feel like this just gave it a nice rustic look to it. But if you do not like that look, by all means, you do not have to do it this way. This is just the way that I would prefer. And then you just want to grab some Mod Podge. Any kind of Mod Podge will do. I like using the Matte Finish Mod Podge. I did put a generous amount all over the paint sticks. Just because usually once the Mod Podge dries, it does change the texture of the wood. So I just go all throughout the surface rather than doing the spots that the bag is going to go over. I allow this to completely dry. Once that is dry, I place the gift bag on where I want it to go. I place a piece of parchment paper on top. And I like to just go over it with my mini iron. I got this iron off of Amazon. And what this is doing is it's just reactivating that Mod Podge. So that way that gift bag will cling to the Mod Podge and it will completely adhere. And look at how awesome that came out. I just love it. So next I'm just grabbing some of this red and black Buffalo Check ribbon. I am just weeding it through the top of these paint stir sticks. They did have these little gaps in between. So again, just start weeding that through until you reach the end of the paint stir sticks. And once you reach the end, all I did was just flip the sign upside down, cut off any excess, and just put down a small amount of hot glue and just held that excess ribbon right down. Look at how adorable. Next, I am going to be making a fluffy bow using my Easy Bow Maker. I believe I got this from Michaels or Joanne Fabric. So I love this Easy Bow Maker just because there is a built-in ruler on the base of it. So that way you know that your loops are going to be the same size on each side. So to make these bows, you wanna just create a loop on the first side or the left side. I made the first set four inches as the size of the loop, give it a twist in the middle and then do the other side, give it a twist in the middle and then do that for two loops on each side. So for this black and white Christmas tree one, I made my loops three inches. Again, you loop it to one side, fold it in the middle, give it a twist, and then you're on the other side and so on and so on. And then for the red and black buffalo check one, these I made in two inch loops and then just do the same process as you would the other. So you wanna just push it all the way down. I like to use a zip tie to hold all of these together, tighten it as tight as it'll go. And then I just cut the tails down to size. I also just created some dovetails out of them. 
And then after the tails are cut, you could go ahead and fluff that bow right out. And this is how it came out. It's so cute. I then just used a mixture of the Dollar Tree adhesive glue with hot glue. And I just glued this to the top left corner of this sign. And I think this came out so, so adorable. I hope this inspires you guys to create your own. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.